Hello everyone and welcome back to Clockwork Empire. As the last we left off, we were just beginning our wee colony. We have nine people currently staying, seven of which are currently working, um, one of which is idle. Um, we've kept things fairly peaceful as of yet. We've not really had any conflict, which is pretty good. Um, because obviously you don't really want to take on too many folk too early in the game. Especially the fish people, who can be quite, yeah, it can be quite a bit of a pest later on in the game. So things are looking pretty good so far. Um, especially with all these fellows walking all over the place. So I think the main issue I'm going to have early on, anyway, is just kind of a lack of, of general resources to build from. Um, that's what we're... Our original aim in the first episode was to try and get these sort of industrious um, machines, the very basics, to try and make sure we had plentiful supply of all, of all the very, very basic ingredients needed for general life. So we've got our food on the go. As you can see, stew is being made in copious, copious amounts. Um, then we've got this carpentry workshop, which is busy making planks for us. Let's turn that into 20. Um, planks with which to build even more buildings. Uh, actually, I don't need that many, do I? Come on, be reasonable, Peter. Let's just take it to 12. Um, ceramics workshop. No one is assigned, but they're ready to start making, so let's go ahead and get the stacks. Let's get them on making some bricks. So they obviously need some clay to do this, and we very much don't have any clay to do, so I think it's time to get some folks on... Well, first off, let's chop down this tree because it's getting in the way. Chop down the farm. And let's get this clay node. Oh, I think he actually already is. There we go. Bringing back some clay. So that's him going to start bringing back the clay, which they're going to immediately then start to make bricks with. However, if we look at our work crews, we really don't have very many uh, left to do other things. I actually think it's about time to get a second farm on the go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and zone second farm. Let's just do it right next to the first one. No, cancel that. Cancel that. Oh. I didn't mean that. Farm. It's, come, it's not going to let me do it. Oh, I've broken the game. So don't do this, because it's a pain. There's just nothing you can do to fix that sort of thing. Um... That's extremely frustrating. Never mind. Let's go ahead and get that to grow some maize. So in theory, they'll start to, to do that. And let's hope it's going to be as good and as successful as the first one. Which is currently producing the crops we need. Uh, and then they'll start bringing that here. And then we should start to be able to use them to make yet more stew. The stew obviously currently being made mostly of mushrooms. Uh... Let's get some more gathering, get some more pumpkins on the go. And even more mushrooms, I suppose. But really, we want some of those chili plants, we want some of them. So obviously hunger is something you need to watch, because while we, sh we have quite a lot left, it just makes me very nervous. Um, colonists starving is definitely one of the things you, you, uh, <laughs> you want to avoid if possible. People get unhappy when they start to starve. And for the most part, these fellows look pretty happy. Um, she doesn't actually have any desires or property. That's kind of worrying, to be fair. Um, okay. Ada. What a boring lady. Right, let's get down to some chopping some more trees. So we have some more wood to be building with. For the most part, I think we're sorted here when it comes to all of that. Uh, we've definitely got quite a lot of clay being built, hence those bricks. Our first bricks have, have come in. Um, so actually, if we can look at some of these buildings, we can probably build some more things. Like, for instance, a textile... Actually, I think that is a textile workshop. What is this? Yeah, textile workshop. So, we we'll could probably build a second building here. Um, a metal works sounds smart to me. Let's go ahead and build it right next 
to the textile place. Now, what do we need here? Black brick charcoal kiln. Yep. Iron charcoal kiln. Iron smelting crucible. Smithing forge. Stone charcoal kiln. Stone smelting crucible. Okay, I think we need smelting and charcoal and smithing. So we need one of each. So brick charcoal kiln seems smart. So let's chuck that there. Um, smelting crucible. So we can do that with iron. Do we have any iron? No, we don't. So it's going to have to be a stone smelting crucible to begin with. And then I guess a smithing forge is also required. So let's go ahead and chuck that here. I might have space for everything. We'll throw in a door, I think. I'm just going to put in a workbench just in case. But that should be it, really. I think that, I think that's it. So I should build that. Obviously, when it comes back around to being daytime, because at the moment it's night, so they're all gonna, oh, they're all gonna gather in the stone ceramics kiln, probably because the fire is keeping them nice and warm, um, and have a wee nap. What the hell? Oh dear. So he's been ha haunted by ghosts. He hasn't slept for two days. Okay, so they want some beds. So I think it's probably about time. You know, after they've built this place, that we start getting some housing laid down. So I think the houses are just generally going to be starting to form a sort of in in a, a rough semi like circle around the kind of the main group of buildings in the center. Um, just starting to plan out the colony a wee bit, a wee bit better. Because if we have them grouped over here, then they've got further to walk. Whereas if I try and keep them close and circular, they can just immediately walk to the jobs. And that's what we like. Oh, look at these guys. She's happy because she really doesn't have any aims in life. Add a copper crown. Whereas the rest of these guys, obviously, they're sleeping in because they're absolutely exhausted. They're sleeping literally just on the ground, unhappy. Um, don't worry, guys. We'll fix that. We will fix that. I promise you. So they're still building the textile workshop. So we're not going to assign any more buildings until both of these, these projects have been finished. Ada's very quick at building. So Ada's gonna... Yeah, so the well-ordered well wrenches are gonna be our builders. So I wanna keep them from, from doing anything else, really. In fact, I want a new overseer. Oh, here we go. Call in a favor. So, we can call in a criminal work party. So that's just kind of more people to help out with the building. Uh, we can get an artisan, so he's going to be good at a specific thing, and that that actually requires three prestige. Um, one skilled naturalist to get, and that requires two prestige. Aerial surveillance. I think I'm going to go grab a criminal work party so we can grab some more people. But I'm going to quickly pause the video and turn off my friends list, which I've done twice in a row now. So there we go. Some criminals should appear. Hello. Oh wow, they're, they're wearing criminal costumes. You can immediately see them for who they are. So, they have joined different things. So I'm actually going to... Okay, so Mrs. Mike's Pe Pleasant Widgets. What's your current job? Okay, so they're currently farmers. I'm actually going to take one of them out and put them into... Take one of them and put him into the wrenches because I want him to build. So I've taken... So there's one farmer... Uh, after he's finished farming for a bit, he's going to actually then start to build, which is good. Although actually, no, let's keep him, let's keep him as a farmer. Let's, sorry, I'm going to, I'll be annoying him already. Oh dear, I didn't mean that. There we go, and we'll put him back in there. So that both the criminals are still farming. So I should, hopefully if it doesn't refresh your jobs, he'll, he'll continue to farm and then just ignore me. That's good. Right, so as things were, we now have two extra farmers, Caesar Goldenworth. I see how bad these fellows are, or not. Oh dear, he was airsick the whole way. He's a criminal, but he's not really got much, much others. I mean, he's, he's terrible at everything, but for the most part, he's you know, he's an alright guy. Traits, or is he a criminal? There's nothing else really. She's on a pleasant journey, but she likes sausages, which is good for her. Let's get rid of that log. 
So things really aren't looking too bad at the moment. I think for the moment, like we've got plenty. Actually, we need some more stone. But there we go. We're, we're getting that built. So that's fine. That's good. We're continuing that, which is a nice, nice, nice thing to be done. And then we'll continue to clear this area because of the uh, tree cutting I ordered. So things really are looking quite nice. Hematite. Hematite sounds like something we want. Maybe we should... I'm going to leave it for now. just want them to, to rush things a wee bit too fast. There we go! Look at that! Just about finished the textile workshop. I don't actually think we've got a work crew spare for that. Like we've, got a mi we've got miners there. Um, the valves have no assignment. Um... But they do have, they have a shop assigned to them. I think it's the kitchen, actually. It's another Moretto in it, which is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so they're waiting for some food, I think. So I just want them to continue making some shoe. In fact, I'm going to give them some more things to do. Some, like, pickled fungus. Um, I'm also going to have them make coconut curry. Because basically, it, it doesn't really matter what she does. Um, yes, yeah, so see, for instance, like here, they started to, to make this chili, so what she's going to do is, is start to make things like more complicated food. So I think she's just going to, I've given her a bunch of different food to make, so she should, in theory, just kind of take what's there and make, make some decent stuff. And that's, that's what we want. I think it's good to have a variety of different food, because obviously different people prefer different types of food. So I think you're more likely to keep your populace happy if you, if you kind of cater to a wider variant. So we should, there's plenty of bricks here. But the metal works takes bricks to build. See, this is why it's good to have bricks being con like built by the, the settlement, because you actually need them for constructing this stuff. Alright, so they can make cloth out of... I don't know what that is. What is that? Do we have any here so I can compare it? I don't know what that is. How, how do I... How do I find out what that is? <laughs> um, do we get it for clearing the grass, maybe? I can't tell, guys. I just can't tell. But yeah, you continue to mine. We need all of those resources. I actually think we're going to start to run out of space. So I'm going to zone another stockpile. And we're going to have it right next to the original one. That is so frustrating. I clicked. You saw where I clicked. Let's demolish that stockpile and see if I can do a trick here. I wonder if it's... Yeah, you have to click on the one that's like below it. That's so frustrating. So there we go. We've got two stockpiles right next to each other. So there should be plenty of room for them both. So that's all the resources we need. Just in the middle of our town. And we can keep it nice and safe. So we should have plenty of farmers. Who are you actually? Prunella Robin Cotter. You're from the straps. Oh, I actually think there's only one group per thing. So what I'm going to do actually is take one of these guys away and add him to the straps. So both farms have two people on them, which should increase the rate at which they farm. There we go. Oh, metalworks need crew. Well, there's no point in crewing them until... We uh, actually have things to... Oh, look at that. We can start making things. Obviously, we, we need to make iron pipes. I don't... Oh, I suppose. Firstly, we need to make charcoal. Then smelt iron ore. Uh, <laughs> this is all very complicated. But for the most part, we should just figure it out on how to make combat supplies. This is all very, very complicated. Oh, hello. A letter arrives from the Empire, sealed with the mark of a particularly fluent, affluent noble. The letter says that it has recently come to light. Ada Copperfowl, a copper cow is actually a fourth cousin of the family who disappeared when they were a child. Ah, no one could quite find them after one particular <laughs> after that one particularly wild party a decade back. While they can't quite be bothered to have them return to the Empire, they ask that you elevate Ada to their proper station and treat them as you would any noble. Um, one can never have too many prestigious friends. Into the fire you go, letter. Into the fire you go. Because <laughs> I am a horrendous person. 
um, and I really can't be bothered with having <laughs> so many yeah nobles at this this stage. Let's clear some of these saplings because we definitely don't need them. And there's tree stump and actually that grass as well. Because obviously we're going to start to build some housing. In fact, after they've finished all these things, we're then going to actually build the houses. So I should cheer some people up. We're going to keep this space clear for another shop. I think the first house we're going to be we're going to build is up here. Yeah, we're going to build the first house up here. I like these guys working even when it comes to late at night. That is what you call tremendous hard work. But we definitely need to get some uh, beds on the go because I feel I feel sorry for them personally. I mean, oh hello. Fish people policy objection. Okay, Caesar Tingasca has become a vocal opponent of your policy of friendship with the fish people. She has stated in no uncertain terms it's because these monsters are an abomination to humanity and reason. They should be destroyed. Caesar Tingasket demands you immediately dictate a policy of extermination against the horrible fish people. How shall you respond? Um. Hmm. We're going to continue the policy because I really don't want to fight them until I really have to. Because it means I'm going to have to start, like, making folks militia. And I really, really can't be bothered with that. Um, it's just going to be such a pain. Because just him on his own will not be able to protect the settlement. So I'd need to actually just kind of hire a few more folks. And we only have pistols. I think once we get a few more rifles and a sizable military, we can start just annihilating them. But I think for now, when we're small, we're going to sidle in. We're going to, you know, come up to them. We're going to smile at them. And then we're going to stab them in the face once there's lots of us. Uh, so we've got some more people sent over and we've got oh great look at that two immigrants so what do we have where i hate the fact that they're immediately assigned to people which is a wee bit annoying um a laborer and a poet well i don't care for poets they're useless um what's the okay the thing ask is stout steam who are they what are they doing what do the what do the steam people I could just check here, what am I talking about? Right. No assignments. Well that's not good. They'll have an assignment. Okay, right, so they're gonna be chopping trees. There's two of them in that, that's fine. You're clearing terrain, there's two of them in there, that's good. Um You temperate crosses. Okay. That's because I've stopped you making loads there, right? You can make some more wood. Well we definitely need some of this to stay as in fact, yeah, let's get. Let's only make two more. I st we need quite a lot of these logs to stay as logs. Um, right, upright stacks. That's fine. Wrenches of farming. That, so we've got our farmers, and then we've got a construct building. Yeah, that's fine. I think we're all good. I think we're they're fairly evenly spread, which is fine. And we're gonna increase. Obviously, we're increasing the rate that we're eating our food at the moment, which is boring. But we are also we are we are also increasing uh, how quickly we are making things, which is good, which is is good. We should be clearing this area any moment now. Right? How how long until we're we finish building these things? Smithing Forge, I think, is currently having material dropped off. Yep, there we go. So that means he should now start to... There we go, bash away. It's going to take him a long time because he's a prisoner and he doesn't know how to build things. In fact, it's really irresponsible letting a prisoner build a smithing forge. I'm sure it's more complicated than just this brick goes on top of this brick and that one goes on top of that one and oh dear, I forgot to put the hole in. Yeah, so, I mean, to be fair, I could be being unfair. He could have been a master smith forge builder before he got nicked. But, uh, I highly doubt it. Right, so we've got plenty of food. Oh! And that's the alarm going off again. I should really change the uh, tune. Which is just to warn me that actually today's episode should be coming to an end. Whereabouts are we during the time of day? Day one, I think we're still in like bright sunshine, so I'm gonna probably continue until 
no actually yes we're gonna end it here so that's that's the game paused um thank you very much for joining just to quickly recap the episode we've we finished building the textile workshop and we're in the middle of building the smithy forge and next time we'll, we'll build some houses um obviously we're throwing up the second field and we're continuing to clear our way around us we obviously gained i think four more people to the colony so we're standing a nice round 14 and we're continuing our policy of friendliness towards the fish people for now so yes this has been peter and i hope to see you again next time